hello welcome dear spiritual friends thank you for being with me my name is cindy st martin and i'm certified as an angel therapist in mindfulness and holistic health i'm also a reiki master and you're watching my weekly angel card reading for the week of april 16 2017 so thank you all for being with me and sharing this time with me and also for liking commenting uh sharing and subscribing to my YouTube channel. You are a blessing to me and I am forever grateful in that. And then in return, you are also likewise blessed. So all my beautiful and wonderful Christian brothers and sisters who are celebrating Easter, have a blessed and happy one. May it be joyous and, and delightful to, to you no matter how you are celebrating. And so I had called upon God, the Ascendant Masters, the angels and archangels to be with me and because of law of attraction and power of intention I cannot select the wrong card. I'm going to select one card from three different decks and then a prayer card from Archangel Michael. So I'm going to go ahead and shuffle the, arc, um, the angel tarot cards and we'll see what our first card for the week is. I hope you had a wonderful week last week and you're looking forward to uh, this week as well. A lot of the children had spring break. <laughs> some had it earlier, some have it now, some have it um, this week. And I hope all you moms and dads are enjoying having your children at home. <laughs> okay, so let's go ahead and cut the deck. And we'll see what our first card for the week is. And the first card is the Ten of Air. And it reads, it says, The end of a difficult situation. Embrace the change. And expect things to get better now. And it could be recovering from an, an addiction. Now, this could pertain to you personally or it can pertain to somebody else these are the energies that are around you right now so now that um venus is going direct even though we still have mercury and retrograde but venus is going direct things are going to start changing things are going to get better for us around don't fear the change <laughs> there's a blessing in disguise always with changes or it helps manifest exactly what we want so expect things to get better now. Be excited and, 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 and embrace the change. Now, recovering from an addiction, you know, an addiction is something we feel we can't live without. It could be anything. Of course, it could be uh, a substance, some form of substance abuse. But it's something that we can't live without. Some people are addicted to, you know, their computers, the TV, food, uh, whatever it is. But it looks like uh, some form of change that... Um, that you're going to make something that you feel you can't live without. Some people maybe can't live without ice cream. <laughs> and you're gonna say, you know, I had enough of this ice cream. It doesn't, it's not healthy for me. I'm gonna stop it. And you make, and you know, one little change in your life is like a snowball effect. It's just going to just enhance you, and you're gonna make other changes in your life to really make your life really, really better. And of course, this is springtime, rebirth, new growth, new life, um, and and. In that and this is a perfect time to go ahead and do that the end of a difficult situation embrace the change and celebrate be excited it's a very very good card and, and we all <laughs> could use uh, uh, change and and change is, is like it's always good <laughs> it's always good everything changes all the time and none of us especially us none of us are the same person that we were yesterday you know things that happen in our lives that we may change the way we think and make things really really better okay so let's we're going to tap into the the love angels and i'm shuffling the whisper of love cards and we'll see what love message our angels have for the week okay so we cut the deck The card is the 
It says the only thing that is real is love. And it reads, it says, shift your focus from the problem back to love. <laughs> it says love is the only thing that's real. The rest, and anything that comes from here is, is a connection to God and, and our source and our power. And of course, this is where love is. And then we got to take what's in here and bring it up here and create wonderful things. If we just focus on what's up here, which is ego, which is neg negativity, uh, energies, you know, then we're going to create something that we really don't want to manifest, but we're manifesting it. So we really need to pay attention, have the awareness of what we think. Is it based on love? Are we acting from love? Because it's the only thing that's real. That's the only thing way we can create exactly what we want. Now, at the end of a difficult situation, you want to uh, focus on finally maybe loving yourself and caring about yourself. We have to put ourselves number one. If we are not 100%, we can't give 100%. And how you treat yourself is how others are going to treat you. You're setting the example for that. If you put yourself last, then yes, you are going to be last with everybody else. And it can't be that way. And when we recognize that God is inside of us, and when we put ourselves first, we also put God first. We manifest. Now, I don't mean this selfishly. I mean you really have to take care of uh, and be aware of what you think, say, and do out to the universe. Only put good thoughts in your head because you love yourself. Why on earth would you put negative thoughts in your head when you love yourself? You wouldn't do that to, you, to yourself, right? And then pay attention to the words that you say because it's energy that you're putting out to the universe and it's going to come back to you. So be mindful of the words that you speak that are going to come back to you. And of course, our soul, our spirit, loving our soul and spirit, which is loving God, loving who we really are, loving our soul, our purpose, and recognizing that and tapping into that. And of course, our bodies. Um, you wouldn't feed God McDonald's, would you? Right. So don't feed it to yourself. Treat yourself as you would treat God and really love yourself. And realize it's the only thing that's real. Your life is going to change when you do that. Uh, separate yourself from all negative energies, whether they're people or situations. You just let it go. Refuse to uh, think about it. Refuse to stay connected to it because it does not serve you. It's not loving yourself. It's harming yourself. And we want to make sure that you really disconnect from that. And, and call on Archangel Michael to help you. Uh, with that disconnecting and also shielding from other uh, negative energies attaching to you. So, okay, so I'm shuffling the Law of Attraction cards, and we'll see what affirmation our angels want us to practice this week. And you know, you might want to write this down. And if, it, if the wording isn't exact to you, you can change the wording on it to, where it helps benefit you. And, and these cards deal with uh, abundance and prosperity, which we're all deserving of. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to go ahead and cut the deck. Oops. I love this. Card is relax. And the affirmation it reads, it says, I choose to relax and not to fill my mind with worry as that creates stress. Ah, to relax. We all say, oh, I need to relax. <laughs> and a lot of us react, relax in different ways. Some of us like to have um, a glass of wine or something. Others like to take a hot bath. Others like to meditate. Some of us like to go to the beach, take a walk in the park. But it's actually disconnecting from the world. <laughs> and so we don't want to, um, when it comes, of course, with alcohol, overindulge in that, but just to take that time to connect. And however it, it works for you, go ahead and do it, okay? You can't get it wrong when you relax. <laughs> Not at all. And of course, you, we all have to be who we be. <laughs> but um, so we don't want that stress. We want to disconnect. Again, the end of the difficult situation, if we tap into realizing that love is the only thing that's real and really loving ourselves 
and not allowing ego, the thoughts in our mind, to control what uh, we say, what we think, say, and do. We want to make sure that we separate from that. Okay, so let's call an Archangel Michael and shuffle the prayer cards and see his message and prayer for the week. So I'm going to go ahead and cut the deck. Ah. Talk about the relax card. Archangel Michael tells us, spend more time outdoors. And the prayer reads, it says, thank you for motivating me to spend more time outdoors and helping me relax and enjoy connecting with nature. <laughs> we were just talking about it. We get con uh, uh, confirmation from the angels and Archangel Michael to relax, okay? Take time to relax. Make yourself number one. Get yourself to 100%. It's okay to say, you know what? I'm not dealing with this right now because this is negative. This is going to cause me stress. I'm going to go relax, and I'm going to tap into my source, tap into my angels, tap in with God, surrender it, and I'm going to come back and be really, really powerful and be amazing. Uh, so really, really tap into loving yourself. Again, um, the only thing that's real is love and loving yourself and treating yourself 100% in that way. And then it's the end of difficult situations. Things are going to go ahead and move forward to you. Uh, expect things to get better now. When we put all this into practice, these cards come together and tell us a really po a powerful and positive message that we really need to practice and try to get through this, especially when we're dealing with stressful situations. And stress is, is brought on uh, by us. <laughs> We see it that way, and we find fault and problems, which is ego, and we don't want to tap into anything with ego energies. So thank you all for sharing this time with me. You are a blessing to me and one that I am forever grateful. If you would like your own personal intuitive angel session, please contact me, and we can connect, and I can help you move forward with anything that's stressing you and enlighten you and inspire you. So please visit my website at cindyshealing.com and there you get all the information that you need and you can contact me through that way as well. And while you're there, you can connect to all my social media sites, which I hope you do, and I get to know you and we can um, become friends and chat. And almost every night I come on live on Facebook, my Facebook page, and, and do a, um, a, a, a reading, a general reading for, for the night. And it's been very successful and very uh, powerful for me and for others. And I hope that you can connect with that so it will empower you and enlighten you in that way. So thank you for all your love and support that, that, that you give me. I certainly really do appreciate it and feel blessed. Have a wonderful day blessed Easter. Make sure you get, uh, let your love and peace fall down upon the earth. It is really, really, really needed. And we all need to participate in this. And know you're powerful when you're in the knowing. When you have God, the ascendant masters, the angels and archangels behind you, you're powerful. There's no stopping you. So, um, know that God blesses and loves you and so do I. Ne Till next time, I give you love and kisses and blessings. And of course, I wish you all namaste. Thank you so much. Enjoy uh, your Easter holiday and your week. <laughs> okay, bye-bye. <laughs>